Gua Nia in Miri is the cave with some evidence that ancient people used to live here. There are cave paintings as evidence of this fact. This painting was possibly painted 1,200 years ago. It is exciting to imagine our artistic ancestors who created this artwork. Can you imagine? What story did the painter try to tell us with this painting? Possibly many people are gathered around a fire in the cave at night to share various stories. What story did they share? Maybe about some fruits or flowers they found beyond the mountain during the day. Maybe about a big fish they caught in the river. As humans, we are hungry to tell and hear a good story since ancient times. Let's explore the craft of a story. We will find a lot of beauty in the craft. Every single day, we are communicating by sharing information. What is information? Information are just facts. What happens? When this information is structured in the form of a story, our communication becomes more meaningful and entertaining. We can share and express our emotions more effectively through stories. Some stories can make us cry. Some stories can make us laugh. Stories are an important part of our lives. There are good storytellers and bad ones too. Some people are good at telling an exciting story, but someone's story can be boring. Why? Because telling a story is a technique of communication. It is a skill. That's good news, isn't it? You can improve the skill and the technique if you train yourself, just like any sports. Hi, everyone. I'm B. I'm Yasu. We are going to go on a journey together. A journey to see a story as an artwork. Everybody has a story to tell, but how well you can tell a story is a different story. No worries. Everybody can be a good storyteller. Yes. If we can communicate better, maybe the world could be better too. Every single day, we share our stories with others, family, friends, sometimes even strangers. People communicate differently with different groups of people, sometimes casually, sometimes more formally or seriously. How are we creating such various stories in our daily lives? When we tell a story, we are controlling three important elements of the story almost subconsciously. These are genre, structure, and audience. For example, when you are telling a funny story, you tell it in a cheerful and upbeat way. You are controlling yourself to create a particular tone and mood for your story. The tone and mood classifies the genre of your story, just like different genres in movies, such as comedy, horror, romance, etc. Each genre has a different tone and mood. When you tell your story, you decide what to tell first 
and next and next. This order is called structure. A story with a good structure always has the power to sustain the audience's attention. Now, think about the different situations when you tell your story. If you're telling the story to your friends, you are not going to tell it in the same way if you're telling the same story to your parents or older folks, right? That means you are controlling yourself according to your audience. Stories are everywhere. We are hungry to tell a story because we want to share information about what happens. We are hungry to tell a story because we want to express our emotion, what I want to say. Storytelling is effective when both information and emotion are delivered within these three elements properly. Genre, structure, and audience. We are communicating controlling these three elements almost subconsciously. That sounds easy. We are already good storytellers? Mm, yes and no. What do you mean, Yasu? Well, once our emotion comes in, it is not easy to control these three elements sometimes. Then, a storyteller creates a story with wrong genre, wrong structure, and for the wrong audience. That sounds bad. It is a failure of communication. Yeah, controlling emotion is not easy sometimes. Every single day, we communicate by sharing stories, controlling these three elements almost subconsciously. However, once you sit in front of your computer or a blank paper, it is not easy sometimes to write a story. Unlike when you are chatting with your friends. Why? Well, when strong emotions take control, you easily forget to tell the most important information of your story. What happens? Story is actually formed with information. Information is about what happens. But if you just tell what happens in your story, will it be interesting? Maybe not. Then, how can we make our story more interesting and entertaining? Where is Yasu anyway? We are supposed to meet here. What Yasu is reading is a script, a story written in a special format. Yasu works as a story analyst. He analyzes a script in a logical and objective way, so the story can be accepted by mass audience. Wow, you're so busy, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Where, where are you from? From Japan. From Japan? Yeah, but oh. I live in KL. Mm. Oh, you live in KL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you come here for what? Uh, just some job. Huh? Oh, wait. How long are you going to be here? Mm, not too long. Not too long. Not too long? How many days? Uh, a few days. I'm in Kuching. You come to Kuching. You must stay for at least two weeks. There are so many things to do, so many places to go, so many food to eat. I know. Yeah, you know, yeah. When you come to Kuching, the first thing you do is to eat. Oh, we have a lot of meat, we have tomato, great deal, we have laksa, the laksa is the best in the world. Come, 
we go now. I bring you to one laksa shop selling the best laksa in Kuching. What? Uh, excuse me? Yep. What was we, it? We, we, go, we go to eat laksa now. Yeah, yes, but yeah. We, we are supposed to go to the culture village, right? Oh, your, your wife already there. Uh -huh. Let her wait, let her wait, laksa. Just a while, just a while, just a, just a short corner there. Yeah, but uh, no, now, no, now, no, no. Because I can't, can't. So Never mind, just, go, just, just they, they make laksa very fast, right? You know what's so good about laksa? Uh -huh. They have 20 herbs inside one laksa. Very difficult to make, you know? Yeah, must go, must go. You know, if, if you are not okay with bihun, usually laksa serve with bihun. If you're not so okay with bihun, they can use tuai tiao, they can use no dao. Well, is he supposed to be a good storyteller? I just, I just, or a bad storyteller? I just bring somebody there. Today, ah. <sighs> Sorry. Where <laughs> I'm were late. you? <laughs> I was worried about you. What happened? What happened? Well, that is exactly what the audience would like to know, right? Well, <laughs> you know, it's a long story. Uh, but, okay, I tell you. Uh, Yasu is late, which is unusual for him. But that is only information, right? Once he tells me what happened, with the how and why elements, it actually becomes a story. How did it happen and why did it happen? This will intrigue the listeners for sure. What? You ate laksa without me? It's my favorite! I didn't have a choice, huh? Forget it! But you owe me! Come! We have to meet someone special. Okay, 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 okay. We can go, we can go. Story can be crafted as an art, just like the traditional Sarawak weaving. A weaver uses countless strings to create beautiful patterns, while a writer uses countless words to create a story. My hobby is crafting. Tatting and crochet always amazes me because with one simple string, it can be turned into very beautiful patterns. Hmm, I can see the similarity between such a beautiful crafts and stories too because story is also woven together with many strings. These strings are called plots. Story can be crafted as an art, just like the traditional Sarawak weaving. While Sarawak weaving is woven together with many colorful strings, a story is also woven with many strings that are called plots. Characters are players in a story, usually 
we have main character and some sub characters. For example, if you are talking about yourself, you are the main character of your story. Sub characters are important too as they support the story. In our feature film Nota, the main character is Erin, played by Maya Karen. Other characters are considered sub characters who support her story. Forty Second Pictures feature film, Nota, is a story about Erin, who wants to rekindle her relationship with her husband, Kamal, played by Hans Isaac. Apa kita pikir ya? Ada masalah kah? Tak ada. Tak ada apa. Minum dulu. Masih banyak masa lagi. Kita tak pergi sekarang ke? Eh, tak. Ayah masih surut. Tunggu ayah pasang. On the 10th year anniversary, Erin decides to go on a trip to Bako National Park, where they got engaged. On the way, Erin inadvertently discovers Kamal's note indirectly stating he wants to end it all. All characters have their own stories. The story of main character is called main plot. Obviously, this is the most important string. The other strings are called subplots. These are stories of sub-characters. In the story of Nota, Erin is the main character. Her story is enriched and completed by adding stories of other sub-characters, just like using different strings to create intricate designs in weaving. Now, a creator is the one who uses these plots to weave a story. The stunning patterns an artist can create is unlimited. A storyteller can weave these strings of plots to complete a story. A completed story looks seamless, just like the beautiful Sarawak weaving. Usually, writers spend a lot of time and effort to complete a story. Sometimes they spend months and years to develop rewriting and rewriting to reach the level of art. As a story analyst, my job is like untangling what writers have written. That means I unweave the strings to study each one separately, which is main plot and which is subplot. You can use this concept to develop your story. Some story is short and some story can be long, like a TV series. By the way, there are many interesting folk tales in Sarawak. These stories are usually not that long. What determines the length of a story? A short story has a simple structure because it usually has only one main plot. That means you just tell the story of the main character. If you're adding more strings, your story will be more complicated and it could be longer in duration. In this case, you are adding more subplots. Have you heard of the fairy tale Cinderella? That story is not that long, right? Maybe you heard it from your mother as a bedtime story when you were young. When the feature animation movie, 
based on Cinderella, was made, it was more than one hour long. How did they do that? Well, just like Yasu said, they added more strings, subplots. In the movie, the audience sees more sub-characters, such as the friendly mice and the evil black cat. It is still the story of Cinderella, but the whole story becomes more interesting with attractive sub-characters. Once upon a time, there were two princesses who were sent down from the heavens, Putri Santubong and Putri Sejinjang. Putri Santubong was sent to govern Kampung Pase Kuning, while Putri Sejinjang was tasked to take charge of Kampung Pase Pute. As a condition, they must never fight each other. Otherwise, they will suffer a terrible fate if that oath is broken. Putri Santubong was highly skilled in sewing and weaving, while Putri Sijinjang's skill contributed to the thriving of paddy fields in the village. One day, a handsome prince from Matang came to visit Kampong Pase Kuning and he was attracted by the beautifully woven textiles. This made Putri Sijinjang jealous. Both princesses fell in love with the prince, and jealousy and envy caused tension between them. The story of Putri Santubong is a main plot of this famous folktale. While the subplots of Putri Sejinjang and the Prince are woven together to make the whole story more interesting. Since ancient times, mankind have always been hungry to tell and hear a good story. Once a good story is crafted, it has a lot of influence on people, even beyond time. Because a good story can get people's attention. Because a good story can stick in people's mind. Because a good story can have the power to spread. Through history, some stories are forgotten and some stories are remembered beyond time and space. Wow, a story can be very powerful. No wonder we have been putting in so much efforts to tell good stories since ancient times. Right, we can learn more about the craft of story. Let's continue our journey.